Hey, good morning, everybody. It is a cold, cold, cold day. I've got on socks and I had on a big old sweater and it was freezing. Cold day, but spring is upon us. It is going to be 74 this week, so I'm so excited. And then in the next couple of weeks, everybody will be headed to the beach. But better than that, all the, all the little plants are going to get to say, boom, I'm coming out of the ground and here you are. Thank you for spring. Thank you for spring. Wow. Exciting. I have been out and about taking a lot of photos and posting a lot of stuff on YouTube. And one of the things that everybody on YouTube loved is the same thing that all of our viewers love. You all love Zanna Jordan. And so I did a little tiny, tiny, tiny video of Zanna and folks on YouTube went wild about it because she just might be the cutest kid to ever wear a camouflage hat. And so I put her out there by the goats and everybody was loving it and everybody was smiling and it just made the day start nicely. So today I think we should start your day with a little tiny bit of Zanna mm -hmm. and then we're going to show some photos of all of the things that I've been lucky enough to capture. Have we got a technical deal? What? Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to take a commercial break in just a minute because we're going to do that. I don't know what happened. It's supposed to have gone through. Oh, gosh. But anyway, we're going to do that. That's why we love live TV. And I told somebody one time, they said, do you like live TV or recorded? I said, live TV, because anything can happen and anything just happened. The video didn't go through, but we're going to make sure it does during a commercial. I want you to wake up today with a smile on your face. I want you to wake up today and look at the beautiful flowers. I want you to wake up today and know that today is going to be a wonderful day. We make the decision to how our day goes. So get up with a smile. Get up and say, thank you, Lord. We live in a free country. And today you're going to get to meet a couple of gentlemen who are the reason we live in a free country. Because many people like George Amon Sanford volunteered for service and not many people walked seven miles from the train depot to enlist and not many people walked seven miles home after they got home from the military, but he did. And we're gonna share a little bit of why it's so important that we support our military. We have so many people serving now. We have so many people coming home. We have so many people who come home with some issues and some problems and we need to be their support system. So we're gonna talk about that. I want to go to the photos now that I've been taking in the last few days. Um, I love sunsets in ball ground. I love sunsets everywhere. I'm a sunset nut. I kind of chase sunsets and I watch your sunset at your house and then I'll run back over to your house and stand in your yard. But we're going to share some photos that I took over the last few days and, and as spring comes and as things are beautiful, I got some great shots. This morning, I went back to one of the same places I'd taken shots. Everything was dead because it froze. So if you missed taking some shots when everything was in bloom, you may have missed some pretty good stuff because the freeze last night kind of, ugh, it annihilated it. It was kind of like the Terminator came to town. You know, I think the Terminator came in the form of about 24 degrees. So, so we're going to share some photos with you now. And Trace, have we got those going now? Yay, here we go. Okay, this is one of my favorite shots because this is a, um, uh, actually, I think it's a little video that I did. So can we do the video and do the vocal? Do the audio? This is a project that was filled with love and has been a several year project, but uh, amazing walking distance to downtown, walking distance to the 50 acre park next door, walking distance to the ball fields, the tennis court, absolutely amazing opportunity to live in the best kept secret Cherokee County ever had. Ball ground is amazing. It is a tiny city filled with wonderful folks from everywhere. So come and join us and get to know Creekside at Farmer's Crossing. Distance to town. That's what it overlooks, the tennis court and the ball fields. Yep. So it's amazing. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. And we are so excited that uh, Farmer's Crossing is finally coming to be. It has uh, been a a, a project that was truly um, life-changing and uh, loved every single minute, every single opportunity to be involved in this. And 
It is going to bring homes, walking distance to town, and that's what's so very important. We wanted to create a walking community, and that's what this is gonna do. So you can get in your car, you can walk to restaurants, you can walk to stores, you can walk anywhere you want to walk and end up at either somewhere to eat, somewhere to shop, somewhere to get your kids an ice cream, or you can go to, um, we have a great dog store where you buy all your dog supplies up in Ball Ground. And, uh, you know, we just, we have some good stuff. We have a great chiropractor too, and which reminds me, I'm going back to see him again this week. So, so it is all about creating the best possible little tiny city right in Cherokee County. And we are kind of the first Cherokee country rural area and everybody seems to fall in love with ball ground and I hope that you will too. So if you want more information on Farmers Crossing, pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. We're gonna take a commercial break so we can come back and bring you what I want to bring you because it's just about 34 seconds of baby Xana, but I know it's gonna make y'all smile. So we'll be back shortly. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Yeah. We're back. Okay, now, I want to share something that I was, it was an honor to be part of an event last Thursday. The reason I wasn't here live is because we had an event going on in Pickens County where the realtors were honored and thankful to be part of a team that was honored. And that is the Andrew Hartman Associates. They make our closings 
amazing. They are the best at what they do, and we love them so much. And to Gina and all the family and to Andrew Hartman, thank you, thank you, thank you for making our day so wonderful. And um, it was just a great, great day. We had a lot of fun, a lot of honors, a lot of hard work. And to my broker and her sweet husband, Joel, they worked tirelessly to keep us on track, on time, doing everything we need to do to make our clients happy. Love what I do. This is 35 years as a realtor. When you think about some of the houses we sold, I was laughing yesterday, I actually sold a house that had a live, active bee colony living inside the walls. Now that meant that your walls were full of honey. It also meant that your walls were eaten and destroyed. So it was one of those as-is houses, and I was telling a young realtor, I said, listen, I said, it doesn't matter the condition, you can go in and fix it, and you can make it work. And my partner, Evelyn, and her husband, Scotty, run SGL groups, and we have seen mastering some disasters. They have done some amazing, amazing work. And we're doing a little house right now over at Lake Lanier. It needed minimal stuff. It just needed updating. But to walk in it yesterday, I was like blown away. Now we're gonna have this small, we're calling it a bungalow because it's only a one bedroom, has a beautiful, beautiful fireplace. It has Lake Lanier access. You just walk right down to the lake. Now how nice is that? And we're gonna put it on the market for about $3.59 and you are going to love it. It is one of those places, I would call it my place of peace or sanity because you can just go back to nature, walk down to the lake, take your canoe, sit and enjoy every single minute of it for $3.59.9. And it will be ready hopefully by the end of this week to get on the market. And if you call us real fast, you might get to buy it. But if you don't call fast, it'll be gone. It will be one of those things people walk in and go, wow, wow. And that's what Scotty and Evelyn do. They offer the wow factor. So, okay, we're going to share. Is baby Zanna ready now? Baby Zanna's ready. And I just, I want y'all to see this. I want you to smile and I want you to say God's greatest gift is truly a child. And this child, one day the whole story will be told. She is an amazing miracle. She is so healthy, so happy, and so much fun. And I hope that this starts your day with just a big, big smile. Here we go. Here's baby Zanna. Look at that. Welcome to Farming Life. <laughs> Welcome to Farming Life, Zanna Jordan. They, <laughs> they, where's the pigs? And see, I've seen the goats. I've seen the chickens. Now, where's the pigs? There you go. There you go. How cute. How cute. How cute. <laughs> Baby oh, farmer, oh, that's the baby you. farmer, <laughs> yay. Tell Uncle John to say, teach me how to farm. You teach me how to farm. <laughs> yeah, teach me to be a farmer. Okay, now y'all have a reason to smile. She brightens my day every single day. And if I don't get to see her for a few days, I kind of get, oh, crud. Oh, but we are afforded the opportunity to live in the United States in a free world, a free country. And I had something I was going to bring you guys, and I forgot it. Oh, I'll have to. No, I think it's out there in my car. I believe it is, because you'll love what it says. You'll love what it says. I want to introduce a couple. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. A couple of men who um, have fought for your freedom, my freedom, and continue to bring awareness to the veterans coming home today who need our help. Want to introduce yourselves? Well, I'm Frank Least. I'm with the uh, Veterans Memorial Park uh, Association in Jasper. I'm also an American Legion member. Um, been in the service for 22 years, retired, and um, just live here in Pickens County. Mm -hmm. love and it. love every minute of it. I would not trade it for nothing. Been here and 17 today, years. And today you brought a, a, a guest who's never been here before, and you that's told him how simple it is. We just kind of <laughs> sit and chat. So that's pretty simple. Tell me who your guest is. I'd like to introduce Dave Jones and let you uh, talk to you about him. Yeah, yeah, thank you. First of all, for bringing us on the show today. Absolutely. And letting us have a little time to, to meet you and, and talk with you. Uh, I'm Dave Jones. Uh, I am a retired Air Force Colonel. Mm -hmm. I retired in uh, 20. Lackland Air Force Base? Uh, no, no, I've been through there. Okay, but, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, served 24 years. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm what you would call the the desert era uh, veteran. So okay. I went to Desert Storm, I went to Iraqi Freedom, mm -hmm. uh, Afghanistan, all those type of things. So mm -hmm. that was my era. Um, and um, I moved down to 
uh, Jasper about two years ago and said, hey, you know what? It's, uh, I, I think I'm old enough now to be one of those guys that wears a funny hat and yeah. has some pins on it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I <laughs> and, love it. Uh, you know, so you know, I joined the American Legion and, uh, and met these guys. Uh, a lot of them are Vietnam vets. Mm -hmm. We've got some Korean vets. Uh, we still have some World War II vets. I'm so thankful that we still have some World War II. And, and I want to ask y'all this. Could you find a World War II veteran that we could interview? Do you know one that we could possibly interview? Yes. Because yeah. that would be awesome yeah. to yes. do. I would love to do that. As yeah. we approach Memorial Day, that would be a perfect time to okay. do that. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've given you a job. I've given you an assignment. Should you decide uh, to accept the assignment? <laughs> it's done. It's done. Yeah. it's done. It's done. It's done. We look at America today, and you went into Desert Storm was very different than Vietnam. Yep. When you came home, there were no protesters. Right. There was nobody screaming at you and saying nasty right. things. So do you feel differently serving than our Vietnam vets do? I, I, I think so. You know, a lot of the, lot of the same things apply. You know, you, you bond with the, the men and women that are around you in your unit mm -hmm. to get the mission done. Uh, to carry out uh, U.S. policy mm -hmm. worldwide, mm -hmm. uh, but truly the Vietnam veterans, what they went through, uh, paid the price for for us, for mm -hmm. my generation, mm -hmm. to come back home mm -hmm. as heroes mm -hmm. and to be welcomed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we owe them a, a tremendous debt. I'm getting cold chills. It makes me sick because I grew up in that Vietnam era. It sucked. Mm -hmm. We were. It was pitiful. It was pitiful. We did not do what we should have done. Yeah. 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 Sad. And, and, you know, and, uh, and I think Americans, you know, realize that was a mistake. Mm -hmm. That uh, absolutely, you know, fifty over fifty nine thousand men and women lost their lives. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the troops, we don't get to make the policies. We mm -hmm. go and we execute. You mm -hmm. know what right. the what the command authority says. So. Right. And when you think about fifty nine thousand people, that would be all of Cherokee County from Highway ninety two north to Pickens County. Right. That would mm -hmm. be the whole population. Yeah. So think about that. Yeah. yeah, think about that. Now you're involved in something that we're going to help you raise some money. Yeah, I exactly. So the American Legion is the only organization that's established by Congress mm -hmm. to help veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of other good veterans organizations out there, uh, but the American Legion, and, and I'm with Post 149 there in Jasper. Um, you know, people think, well, what's the American Legion? You guys just get around, sit around, and drink a lot, you know, mm -hmm. and you got your own bar and stuff. Mm -hmm. we, we don't do that. We're a service organization. We're mm -hmm. out there. Uh, uh, giving scholarships, giving uh, money to uh, local sports activities, uh, those type things, working on the Veterans Memorial. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all Which I have to say is probably things. the most important thing I've seen Pickens County do yep. in, in decades. Probably the most important thing because it's long, long overdue. Yes. Long overdue. Yeah, and, th and there's some wonderful memorials around Georgia. Mm -hmm. People actually on Memorial Day and on Fourth of July or Veterans Day actually they go around to try to hit each one of the sure, memorials. Sure. Uh, in the, Blue Ridge in the has a beautiful unique. one. They do, yeah. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. Now, when is the event and what can we yeah. do to help? Yeah, so uh, we, we need to raise money, obviously, every year. And so this year, on the 31st of March, at Chattahoochee uh, Technical College mm -hmm. Auditorium, we're, uh, we're going to have a tribute show. Mm -hmm. I, I won't call it a concert. It's not going to be a loud band and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's a guy named Connor Laurie who is uh, a local uh, mm -hmm. Georgian mm -hmm. who he can sing Frank Sinatra just like Frank Sinatra. Wow. And then he's going to pivot and do Jimmy Buffett mm -hmm. just like Jimmy Buffett. Wow. And he's going to do an hour and a half show for us from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. on the 31st of March there at the auditorium. We've got some fantastic sponsors that, that chipped in, uh, Piedmont Mountainside, uh, uh, State Farm with I think uh, Coca-Cola must have chipped in. Coca-Cola <laughs> chipped in. <laughs> yeah, I uh, see that. They did, and uh, and community banks helped us out. Day Chevrolet, Rocco's Pub, mm -hmm. uh, Pickens County Chamber, and then the Pickens County Progress as well. All helped us to to at least cover the basics of the mm -hmm. cost. And mm -hmm. so now, the tickets are you know twenty dollars or fifteen dollars if you're a veteran mm -hmm. uh, or a senior. If you want to buy premium tickets, that's See, available. See, I told you, it pays me to get old. <laughs> pay, there you go. There you go. You get a little discount. <laughs> yeah. And you can you can come to our website. I'm the webmaster, uh, and it's uh, AmericanLegion149.com. Real easy, AmericanLegion149.com. You can buy your tickets right there, or you can buy them the night of the show. We'll open the doors about 4.30. Mm -hmm. We've also got local winery, uh, mm -hmm. Karen's, and a local brewery. 
uh, Pendley Creek going to be there mm -hmm. uh, selling uh, selling their beverages. So we try to get as much of the local community involved as mm -hmm. we can. Mm -hmm. But it uh, should be a fantastic evening for people to come out, hear some music, not loud banging concert mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. but uh, Connor Lore singing some of your favorites that mm -hmm. you've heard. Awesome. Now, what about food? Are any any food trucks oh, or anything like that? Well, we're going to have some. Uh, we'll, we'll have some light hors d'oeuvres and, and mm -hmm. snacks available that, that are there for mm -hmm. uh, for purchase and and that sort of thing, and okay. some stuff that's just free. And Coca Cola, of course, has chipped in and given us some other fantastic beverages. Mm -hmm. And if people want to be a part, if they want to buy tickets to give, I always suggest that people who own a company buy 10 tickets sure. and give it to their employees. Correct. How cool is that? Yeah, and, yeah. and when you go to our website and you'll click the drop down menu, mm -hmm. there's a place right there to buy 10 premium tickets, and mm -hmm. that's going to give you seats that are closer to mm -hmm. Connor. Is he, Connor likes to come out, get into the crowd, get them involved in, mm -hmm. in singing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, buy, buy those 10 tickets, give them out to clients, and friends, and that sort of thing. That's really cool. Now, what are you doing as far as the memorial goes? Thank you for asking How's again. that going? We're doing really well. The last time I was here mm -hmm. was discussing phase two. Mm -hmm. um, we were doing the fundraising for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I finally got the funds for it. Mm -hmm. um, I've got the contractors ready to go that it did the original memorial. And just to remind you again what we're doing, we're taking the monument that's in front of the courthouse that has mm -hmm. all uh, the Pickens County veterans who, p who passed away in World War One, World War Two, mm -hmm. and bringing that over to next to the park, mm -hmm. so the park will be inclusive. It really will be now be called the Veterans Memorial Park, Makes and we'll sense. place that. Yeah. And so the contractors are in place, um, the funds are in place, and then all we're waiting for is my uh, civil engineer to come up with a site plan and some great weather, net mm -hmm. 29 degree weather. Good luck. Yeah, that's what we're <laughs> yeah. waiting on. Once yeah. that happens, yeah. we'll start. Um, yeah. I'm hoping to be done before the summer's over with, awesome. depending on, yeah. So we're really, really, really pleased uh, with the sponsors that supported us, the benches that we'll have out there with their names and mm -hmm. so forth. So uh, the Memorial Park is still the Memorial Park. We have 954 bricks of honor out there still. Mm -hmm. uh, you were mentioning Vietnam. I just wanted to mention that too while I was here. You know, um, when President Trump was in office, he had declared that Vietnam be recognized after all these years. Right. And so we have a certain date every year now. March 29th, a week from Wednesday, mm -hmm. we will have a ceremony at the Veterans Memorial Park uh, hosted by the Marine Detachment down there, 1280, mm -hmm. uh, at 11 o'clock. And then our Daughters of American Revolution will be there. Mm -hmm. They will be hosting also, and they will be giving out Vietnam pins to those Vietnam veterans who may not got the pin. Awesome. So we're, we do this every year. This will be our third annual that we're mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. next Wednesday. So we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's next Wednesday and plus the park. I think because of my age and because I was right there in the mix of all that, I know so many people who lost their lives in Vietnam. I know so many people yes. who came back a different person. You know, it, it changed their life right. greatly. And, and I think that's why it angers me that we didn't give them what we should have given. And it's, it's long overdue, so thank you for what you're doing. Right. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, we're, it's it's very, a great honor to do that every, every year. Mm -hmm. And so it happens every 20, on the 29th of the month, mm -hmm. and that happens annually. So we're looking forward to that. Now, are y'all hearing from veterans who are happy that we now have a veterans place in Jasper? Is that helping yes. people? Yes. Actually, we Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that's a great clinic. It's supportive mm -hmm. of everybody. they got a great person there. Marie Lanquist, I believe, is the counselor there. Mm -hmm. um, she is fantastic. I mean, seriously fantastic. Mm -hmm. We have a call in. I get a lot of calls in because of the Veterans Memorial Park, mm -hmm. and it may belong to the Legion, it may belong to the Marines, it may belong to the DAV, and then I'll kind of filter it and then give it. But I'll get calls about, oh, I need help, mm -hmm. and I give her her phone number, mm -hmm. and immediately she is reacting and taking care of them. Mm -hmm. There's not one complaint that I know of yeah. about that claim. That's what's so important, and I hate to say this, but it, we know it's the truth. Before President Trump went into office, Veterans were dying waiting on help. Correct. Veterans were literally dying of an, an ailment that could have been fixed had they have gotten into a VA clinic. And shame on us. Shame well, on us for many, many years. Well, Sherry, you, you know the, the VA clinic is downtown Atlanta off of Clamart. Try that Think every about day. driving down yeah. there, yeah, driving 70 miles. Day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To go yeah. to, and I think there was one in Blue Ridge there for mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. But when they put this one in Pickens County, it's been really good. Sure it is. You know, we're yeah. real pleased with it. Um, I mean, they've got it all. They do ear 
uh, checked up and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I have not heard one complaint from all the veterans that I've been That's awesome. in touch with. And you know what I love is I, a lot of days I, I go home that way. I right. come one way and I go home that way. And I look over there and the parking lot is full of cars. Correct. The parking lot is full of cars. People are using it. They, they are no longer having to hire a ride down to Atlanta or ride the van from Blue they, Ridge down right. to Atlanta. That is correct. It has changed lives greatly. Correct. Yeah, correct. yeah. And it kind of makes them feel like somebody really does care now. Right. It's, it's definitely given them a little bit of attitude that, yeah, they're doing stuff for us. They're doing stuff for us. Now, are we still missing some veterans that we could help? Is there something else we can do? Well, there's a, yeah, there's a couple of things. One, you, you know we've got a, a suicide issue with veterans. I know we do. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's one of the things American Legion, you know, our number one goal is for us to be the one. Mm -hmm. Be the one that's going to engage with these veterans to get them the help that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I would encourage any veterans that are out there, come see the American Legion. Come join a, a, a group. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we don't have to sit down and talk about it. It's sitting next to each other knowing mm -hmm. that, Hey, I've been there. You've been there. Mm -hmm. Let's get through this next day together. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that sort of thing. Uh, we have all the different resources in the world to go out and help uh, local veterans. That's one of the reasons we raise money is also to be able to say, hey, we can help you, pick you up, get you back on your feet. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's one of the reasons that the Legion is here to help. Do you know the county with the highest rate of homeless veterans in the state of Georgia? Cherokee okay. County. Really? Right. Cherokee County has more yeah. homeless veterans than any county in Georgia. And shame on us. Shame on us. You know, okay. um, I, because I do a lot of estate sales, I take a lot of men's clothes to the Legion down in Canton. Mm -hmm. And they have a wonderful closet where they just keep tons and tons of clothes for those homeless vets that are trying to get back on their feet to try to get employment. And one of the things that creates that homeless situation is they come home and can't handle what they saw, and so they turn to drugs or alcohol to handle what they saw. We drop the ball. That should never happen. That's correct. That should never happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's where you know you come in, you sit down with other veterans, uh, you know, talk it through if you want to. If not, just be there. Mm -hmm. We don't have a. You know, our, our post, Post 149 Jasper, we don't have like a bar or anything like that. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we have Mike down at Rocco's who owns mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. set us up what we call the honor room mm -hmm. uh, for uh, first responders and for veterans. And he's been great to support us. So we have a lunch down there every Tuesday at 1130. Veterans get together uh, down at Rocco's and we, mm -hmm. we have lunch and just break bread together and, and talk through things. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's open to any veteran, whether you're a member mm -hmm. or not. Uh, you can always come down to Rocco's Tuesday at 11.30 mm -hmm. and do that. We have our monthly meetings in Jasper. You'll find about that on the website as well at mm -hmm. AmericanLegion149.com. Uh, it'll tell you when our meeting is. It's got a map, show you how to get there to our little Legion Hall that we have there in Jasper. Mm -hmm. uh, and we welcome folks. We need uh, the desert era veterans to come out and mm -hmm. join. You know, the, the Vietnam guys have, have carried the weight for a long time. And yes. so, time for the desert era guys to come in and step up and mm -hmm. help out keep things going. Do you know I remember um, what was his name Norman Schwarzkopf? Mm -hmm. Yeah okay mm -hmm. when yep. his boots he looked like the biggest man in the world tell me he was the biggest man in the world was he the biggest <laughs> man in the world was he big? He was he was pretty good size he wasn't really yeah. that tall but yeah. yeah did you serve under him? I served under him and then Tommy Franks in, uh, in Iraq <coughs> when we went in in Hawaii mm -hmm. I met mm -hmm. Tommy Franks and briefed him Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he was a pretty tall fella. Yeah. How many friends did you lose during this period of time? Uh, five that mm -hmm. I know of, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know what? Some of those were civilians. They were, they were there helping to serve in yes. Iraq yeah. under the Reconstruction. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're in the combat zone. You're an American. You're a target. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. You know what the greatest time about this military is? This is an all-volunteer military. Yep. They volunteered to give their lives. Yeah. They weren't drafted. They weren't hijacked and taken somewhere. They volunteered to give their lives. Yeah. And if you lost five friends and you lost five mm -hmm. friends and everybody lost five friends, then they, you know, yeah. We owe them a, a debt of gratitude that we can't pay. You know, we're we're right. not paying we're not paying it like we should. We haven't been for a long, long time. And we're losing quite a, not a quite a few, but we are losing 
a handful <coughs> within the organizations ourselves because of the age group that we have. Mm -hmm. We're losing people at Legion because of that, mm -hmm. uh, or Vietnam vets, and right. whatever vets, and then all the memorials losing vets, the, uh, the Marine detachments losing vets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when you get the phone call, you're wondering, okay, you know, what's going on? Yeah. yeah. One of the other things that I noticed, and I don't know if y'all have noticed this or not, our 21 gun <coughs> salute guys are old. They're yeah. older than me, y'all. They're old. Yep. And we are losing them. So yes. are you replacing that, that is, entourage? That is a struggle. That yes. is seriously yes. a struggle. Um, we just lost Mike, um, who was running the DAV there in Pickens County. He kept it together. Mm -hmm. We just lost him in December. Right. And so they're, they're struggling right now, and it's 100% correct. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all in their 70s or later, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they were the ones always doing the honors at the National Cemetery. Absolutely. And you're more than 100% correct. Uh, no one's coming up from nobody. It's, mm -hmm. It becomes real difficult. I don't yeah. understand that. What, yeah. what about your era? Isn't it time for your era to come it, up exactly. and do that 21 yep. gun salute? Yeah. Yep. Because I hate to say it, but a military funeral isn't a military funeral without that salute. Yep. Or folding yeah. in the flag. Yeah. And yeah. honoring that, that family. Well, you look at this flag, flag right. behind us. And, and, you know, we brought it here a year ago. And we choose to keep it here because we don't want anybody to ever forget that you that flag was over a casket of somebody who served. Correct. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, as we approach Memorial Day, Memorial Day is the day that everybody, it's to honor those who didn't make it. And people don't understand that. Yeah. You know, Veterans Day is for all veterans. Memorial Day is for those who gave it all. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. How many people have we lost in all the wars we have fought? I Over 200,000? At least. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Over 200,000? Easy. Yeah. 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 Well, so well, as, as we approach yeah. Memorial Day, we are going to honor Correct. over 200,000 lives lost because they loved America. Right. 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 And y'all, look at that phone. Does that not just crack you up? Mm -hmm. I tell people, don't call me because I'm on there, but you know what this is, and I do this for a purpose. These are all spam calls. Yeah. <laughs> and so during the show today, y'all, I've had six spam calls, mm -hmm. and it just cracks me up. I'm like, don't call me, you idiot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, if people want to be involved in this and want to buy tickets, let's mm -hmm. see. Okay, your website is AmericanLegion149.com if people don't have the Internet. Some old people mm. don't like the Internet. Right. Is there a phone number they can call? Is there anybody they can reach out to? Uh, they can. Uh, or can they buy them at the door? They can buy them at the door. Yeah. Okay. They can buy them right there at the but door. But wouldn't you rather know a number that's coming? Uh, well, yeah, but I, th I think we'll have plenty of seats uh, okay. that are available there. You know, I don't think we'll be turning anyone away. Uh, but yeah, if you can get your and it's uh, a great facility turn. to have yeah, the event is. at because right. it's big, mm -hmm. wide open, beautiful, lots of space. So yeah, that's awesome that they're doing that. Now again, your sponsors. Let's go over them again: Piedmont Mountainside Hospitals, uh, State Farm, Parish Lowry Community Bank, Pickens County Chamber of Commerce, Pickens County Progress. It's going to be on our show on Wednesday. Rocco's Pub and Dave Chevrolet and Coca-Cola. Yeah. And um, who's that one? Oh, so these are uh, those serving beverages. So Penley Creek Brewery, oh, yes. uh, he's out of Jasper. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic little brewery that we've mm -hmm. got down there. And Karen's uh, Winery, uh, also out of Jasper, is mm -hmm. gonna be there. So you'll be able to sample some of the local uh, local beverages there, as well as the Coca-Cola And products. for teetotalers like me, are you gonna have some water? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Coke water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Coke and water. Okay. We want to invite everybody to come. And again, how did you come up with this performer? Where, how can people see him? Kind of see what they're going to get to see. Yeah. So if you go to if you go to uh, www.connorlore.com, mm -hmm. uh, you can see some of his videos and and hear his music. And when you do, it, you'll you'll realize it's just spot on perfect. Wow. It, it's amazing to hear his voice. So it's Connor, C O N N E R mm -hmm. L O R R E, mm -hmm. ConnorLore.com. And, uh, and look him up. He's got a bunch of YouTube stuff out there and things Is like that. Is he a veteran? Uh, I do not believe so. Okay. I don't okay. believe so. But he's played, you know, Vegas and a bunch of other large mm -hmm. uh, venues. So we're really lucky to have him mm -hmm. uh, come up and, and do this for us. Well, Aaron Tippin is one of our country artists yep. that loves to give back to the military. Oh, good. And one of the best things he does at his concerts is he always has a big silver bucket sitting there at the front of the stage, and he passes it, and then everything that is brought in that night goes to our veterans. 
and I think a lot of people, uh, Toby Keith is one of those, he wrote songs about the yeah, American well, veteran, you yeah. know. Yeah. There are so many veterans that were forgotten, and the suicide rate is one of those things. Mm -hmm. It is growing every single day. And I think as the economy has failed, I hate to say those words, God, but I call it failure when you walk in a grocery store and you're paying $4 for something that ought to be 89 cents. To me, that's failure. Yeah. That's failure. Yeah. I think that is one of the things that many of the veterans, they came home and they had their military income and they shopped at the PX and everything was cool. They had military housing and then they come home, there's a housing crunch. The prices to rent are ridiculous. And so that's, I think that has fuel the flames of veterans who are homeless because the cost of the cost of getting in a home mm -hmm. is is a bit over the it's, top is very yeah. high and, yeah. and you know we we have uh, we have resources in place to help those veterans do that help mm -hmm. them find uh, how they can get a home how they can get loans those type of things we have all that available to us um, it's us reaching out to find those veterans it's them stepping forward and saying hey I want to go talk to these American Legion guys and, mm -hmm. and see if I can get some help. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we'll find the help for you. Have you been to the American Legion here in Gilmer County on the river? I I've, have. I've heard about it. It is so beautiful. Yeah. It is mm -hmm. so beautiful. That is the coolest location. If you yep. can't find peace sitting right there watching that river pass by, yep. oh, my goodness. And that's a good group of guys, too. So we want to encourage everybody to come and be part of this event. Again, it is March the 31st. Yep. And that's 6 to 7.30 p.m. Doors open at 5, so you can come and have something to drink, water with me, if you want to, <laughs> and hang out. But I think that would be really neat. And now, this money is going to go to do what for the veterans? Yeah, so uh, if, if they're veterans in need, and we, we vet that, we make mm -hmm. sure, you know, then we can directly help the veterans. Uh, we also, you know, do uh, scholarships. Mm -hmm. uh, we've helped out with a veterans memorial. Uh, that sort do you of thing. have to be a child of a veteran to apply for the scholarship? How do you do that? Uh, no, uh, not necessarily. You just make make the application. Uh, obviously, we want to see uh, young people that that show uh, patriotism, that mm -hmm. that show community service, that mm -hmm. you know show those different aspects uh, that that you know we see value in. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that we do as as American Legion and as veterans is we go into the schools, we teach the kids about this is what the flag means. Mm -hmm. This is how you fold the flag. This is mm -hmm. how you treat the flag. This is how you retire a, a flag that's worn out. Mm -hmm. and, and we have processes in place to do that. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is teaching our, our young people that anymore. It, it doesn't seem. So we want to be able to help scout troops, uh, schools, and the youth uh, kind of learn. And the Veterans Memorial Park is a fantastic place to, to bring them, if, if any school teachers are out there, and say, hey, yeah, I'd like to have a veteran come and talk, contact the American Legion local post here, mm -hmm. uh, our post 149 down Jasper, and we'll, uh, we'll have some folks come out, talk to kids, or bring them to our Veterans Memorial Park. We'll walk you around and talk to you about what's there. Mm -hmm. We actually do that. We, um, annually, we have been teaming up with Jasper Middle School, mm -hmm. uh, and we usually do that at the last day. They have a field trip. Mm -hmm. This year we're having it on the 12th of April. They moved it back. Uh, because they were having testing and they needed to get that done for the kids. Mm -hmm. But we will see 300 kids come to that park in different segments. And what we plan to do is do the talking uh, rock um, shooters. We're going to come and demonstrate some of World War I uh, presentation. Show wow. them weapons, no firing, but mm -hmm. weapons to show mm -hmm. them. And then what we'll, what we'll also do is do a retirement flag. We will do a ceremony and explain that ceremony to those kids. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get all the fifth graders, all 300. We'll see about 25, 30 kids at a time mm -hmm. from 9 to 12, and we'll be doing that. Mm -hmm. But we do that every year. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we did the retirement ceremony with the flag, uh, and then we also did the folding of the flag and explain each fold mm -hmm. that when we did it. So mm -hmm. we do that every year. That's wow, part of the wow. responsibility. Can you explain that fold now to people who, who don't know why do you fold it? We have this flag folded behind us. Yeah, why each is it fold has a represent a, what represents what that fold is, mm -hmm. and that's what we explain. Uh, I don't can't memorize it, but of course okay. that's what we, we do. It's, it's a ceremony. You mm -hmm. just fold it, and then you explain mm -hmm. what that first fold is, the second fold, the third fold, until it gets complete. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
last year I listed a piece of property here and I looked up and I said, oh no, we have to replace that flag. I said, did you look at your flag up there on your flagpole? He said, oh, that's embarrassing. So we took it down. My daughter actually paid $90 for a new flag to go up there. We put the flag up. It didn't last six months. I get a call from a veteran here in Gilmer County. He called me three times and he kept having a hard time getting me because I'm on the air, I'm selling real estate. And he said, we got to replace this flag, it looks horrible. And I said, really? I hadn't been up there in a couple of weeks. And the wind this winter, yes. this was a $90 flag yep. that was destroyed in just a few months. So he did me the honor of removing it and then disposing of it correctly. Correct. And I was so thankful for that because I hadn't been by there and looked up at it. But I know the day I listed the property, my first, I looked up and I said, oh, no, 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 we got to have a flag. So my daughter gets online, orders us a flag, and we get the flag up. But it is so important. I think um, Jasper Jeep, which is not Jasper Jeep right. anymore, but it might as well always be. Mm -hmm. Jasper Jeep and Bill Holt up in Blue Ridge both have amazing flags mm -hmm. flying. And when you see those mm -hmm. flags, those flags always look pristine and brand mm -hmm. new. Now I can guarantee you they they watch them and they take care of them, but they Correct. they wave so beautifully and they're I don't even know how big they are. Probably what would you say, twelve feet? If not at more, least. Yeah. yeah. We were yeah. actually there when they hosted uh, the flag. Mm -hmm. They asked the Marine detachment to support them, but then we brought everybody out there, mm -hmm. all the veterans, and we all because it took all the veterans to hold it wow, while they beautiful. brought it up. But um, talking about flags, you know, we do have a flag retirement box. Mm -hmm. It looks like a mailbox, but we have that in front of the at memorial. The store we too. collect yeah. and yeah. the thrift store. Yeah. Yeah. We collect those. The Sons of American Legion who belong under the American Legion um, collects those flags. Mm -hmm. And we of course do a ceremony and um, honor them. But then there are flags that are still good. Mm -hmm. So if you need a flag, let us know. Mm -hmm. Seriously, call me, email and let me know because we have flags on hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you brought up uh, the Sons of the American right. Legion too. They're, there are uh, uh, sister organizations that we have, uh, Sons of the American Legion. Let's say you aren't a veteran, right. but you want to contribute and be a part, but maybe your father or your grandfather right. or, mm -hmm. or somebody in your family was, you can join the Sons of the American Legion mm -hmm. and, uh, and be a part of us as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they've got the American Legion riders, Correct. which are guys that love the motorcycles. And uh, Jasper's even got the, the Jeep Brigade mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. within the Sons of the American Legion. Mm -hmm. So you'll see, uh, you'll see them going out on different rides and things like mm -hmm. that. Uh, we honor our, our veterans, as Frank said, you know, we lost one uh, here you know, a couple weeks ago. Uh, we'll do a special ride in honor of, of those right. veterans, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, uh, and take care and, and help their families and check on them and that sort well, of thing. Well, and thinking about Rocco's, didn't the owner of Rocco's pass away recently? Yes. And he was instrumental in giving back to our community. He sure was. He was uh, over the top amazing. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is somebody taking over and doing the job that he had always yes. done? Yes. Mike is a former uh, Coast Guard okay. uh, service member who owns it now. Uh, he's actually an American Legion member. Mm -hmm. yeah. He mm -hmm. just joined him. Great. So Great. he's very supportive. Yes. Good. Very and supportive. And that was that was tough because yeah. that that guy came to the community and then bam, he just right. he became part of the community. Yes. Just yeah. Awesome. So yeah. yeah. Well, we want to go right now to some music that we're going to honor um, this man. I still can't get over the fact that he walked from Pumpkin Center here in LJ to the train depot to get on a train and to go serve his country, and he did that. So we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of music, and uh, it's in honor of Eamon Sanford. And when we come back, then we're going to talk a little bit more about the event that's going to happen, and I want you to be a part of it. I challenge you to buy 10 tickets, give them away, give them to friends, or just invite folks to come with you. So we're going to try to support our veterans when we return. Okay, it was on this day in 1943 that my daddy left here to go to World War II. My uncle Emmett, his brother, walked with him from Pumpkin Center all the way downtown to watch him get on that train over at the depot and leave here for war. Emmett said he was scared to death he'd never come back home. Emmett said it was raining that evening and he said he cried when daddy left out on the train. And then later on after that, I wrote a little song about it. It's called Baby Blue. I'm looking down from a hilltop at the lights of my hometown. This place is all so different now, and they closed the pool room down. That old wooden bridge I fished with man-made stone The swimming pool and our old school Like you, they both are gone 
gone I keep thinking about the summer of 1969 Long ago and far away when I thought you were mine For better or worse they call so much has changed since then. My crazy heart spins round and round when I dream of way back when. When the rock and roll were playing that old silver Chevrolet, and a But it's all over now, baby blue. Now the river flows so gently from the mountains to the sea. And the track that took my dad to war in 1943 still stretches by like so many years before But like you, the train's on a different track It don't come here no more And the rock and roll would play that old silver Chevrolet And a and rock was all we needed back But it's all over now, baby blue. Red wall tires, western flyers, and eight track suits you do. It's all over now, baby blue. Hey, y'all, we're back. Okay, that is so funny. Mr. LJ is trying to call me right now. He knows what I'm doing right now. He wants to let y'all know he's in the studio making progress, and he is ready. They had the uh, steel guitar player come in the other day. He's really excited about getting the project done. So to uh, George Amon Sanford, thank you for your service. He is, he is serving in heaven now, but that song goes out to any and everybody whoever got on the train here in Gilmer County and went to war. And um, thank God many of them came home. And, and sadly, many didn't come home. So y'all have got a couple more things you wanted to share that the yeah. American Legion does. Yeah, so uh, another thing, you know, we mentioned scholarships uh, going to college, but also uh, for Boys State, mm -hmm. uh, being able to, to help fund that for, for young folks going there mm -hmm. uh, to really allow these, these people that are civic-minded to get out there and... and be able to experience what Boy State's all about and, mm -hmm. and to learn how to work within a government, how our government's supposed to be working properly. And Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> and, Don't uh, have to hide the guns. Don't get me started. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we, we want to teach these youth the proper way, mm -hmm. you know, the proper way it's supposed to work mm -hmm. so that they can rise and be our leaders for mm -hmm. the future and that sort of thing. Uh, we do want to give you a couple of our premium tickets. Okay. Uh, thank awesome. you for coming on oh, the show. Awesome, awesome. Uh, to the Connor Laurie. Yay, uh, I'm excited. Variety of go. Legends Yay. tribute show. Awesome. And that'll be, of course, 31 March, awesome. uh, 6 to 7.30. We'll probably open the doors about 4.30 to start selling tickets mm -hmm. uh, and that sort of thing. Come in, you can have a beverage, whatever type you like. And uh, and then see a fantastic show, and hang out, hang out, go to dinner afterwards, and we got some fantastic little restaurants now in Jasper mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there. Uh, but yeah, come come meet with us. 
If I do a gift basket you could give away, could you sell some raffle tickets to it? Yeah. Could we, I do that? Yeah, sure. Could I make you a gift basket? We okay. could. Fantastic. I That'd would love to do that. I would love to give back something that you could raise some money with. So if you'll just, you know, yep. sell raffle tickets, maybe a dollar a piece as they come in or maybe um, two dollars a piece or you know give them a deal if they buy ten or you know something mm -hmm. like that let's that's raise some idea. money let's raise some money yeah. and raise awareness and I'll fix your really cool gift basket so oh that'd be fantastic thank that. you yeah let's do that let's make a difference because um, I'm, I'm thankful that I drive by the the veterans place in Jasper and I see the car you know the parking lots full mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very thankful for that. It took a long time it was a long time coming mm -hmm. but um, living in Atlanta growing up in Morningside knowing what Briarcliff was like, knowing yeah. what North Druid Hills is like, are you kidding me? You know, yeah. Who would want to send anybody down there and leave at 4 a.m. in the morning to get down That's there correct. and sit all day? Right, yeah. And then fight the traffic coming home. So goodness it's gracious, tough. yeah. It's tough down there now, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, this is, this is a part of the best part of America. This is you two giving back thousands after you and and hopefully thousands more now people will think about i want to make a difference in our country how do you feel the atmosphere is in the military right now because i have a weird weird feeling about the pride is not where it used to be we used to have we used to have presidents all the way, Democrats, Republicans, that supported our military. I don't see the support that our military needs today. And it makes me very sad. Mm. Yeah, I think you'd have to talk to some of the people that are on active duty now mm -hmm. that are they're working to, to really get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I've got young people within my family that are still out there, they're doing the mission. And I think I mentioned before, where are you, you we actively, trained. truly at war? Where, right now? <laughs> well, I mean, most people don't know all the stuff that's going on in North right. Africa. If you right. looked at North right. Africa and, and saw yes. the number of bases that are there, yes. um, you know, one of my family members just came back from serving there for nine months. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's a lot of activity going on there. Mm -hmm. We're still, you know, Syria and, yeah. and Iraq mm -hmm. uh, is going on. Uh, the Taiwan Straits in China is a is a significant threat, uh, mm -hmm. taking our attention, and then of course you know obviously with what uh, Putin's doing in the Ukraine, uh, all the NATO nations and the mm -hmm. U.S. support around that region is on mm -hmm. you know the most high alert mm -hmm. that we can. And see, I don't think p the average person sitting at home because we talked about Vietnam, we talked about um, Desert Storm, we talked about that, all these places we've just mentioned. People aren't even aware no. of all that's no. going on. We are about to explode. If we don't stop the crap, we're going to explode. And we're going to implode. It's going to be a disaster. <clears throat> we need strength that we don't have right now. And that scares me. That scares me. I think a, a strong commander-in-chief is the most important thing you can possibly do. It, it will tend to prevent conflicts, that's Absolutely. for sure. Before Absolutely. Before they get started, yeah. you know. Living in Orlando during the time that Cuba, I mean, my, my friends literally swam to freedom, you know, and, and got picked up by boats. And, and, and I'm like, that was real in my lifetime. Vietnam was right. real in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. These are things that I lived and I knew. And to flee Cuba and be a doctor and leave everything you own because of the conflict in Cuba. Mm -hmm. You know, Jack Kennedy took some heat I would have, I'm a Republican, y'all. I'd have voted for Kennedy. I'd have voted for Kennedy. He, he, I thought he was a great commander in chief. Mm -hmm. And, and it, so we are, we don't see strength. I want a strong commander in chief. I think it's so important for me, for you, for everybody. So let's yeah. get to work on it. What's sad is that you just mentioned that you don't talk about that, but I think about the 13 that died on the departure of the guy. Oh. You don't never hear anything oh. about them oh. at all. If you talk to me, you yeah. hear about it. But yes. you know what I'm saying? You don't, yes. Yes. no one talks about that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. disturbing. There's, people are sitting at home in their little recliners, yeah. in their rocking chairs, not even knowing, not understanding that lives were lost, lives were left and slaughtered. Correct. And, and oh my God. And still is. Yes, every day, mm -hmm. every day. And that is what's so scary because this is a volunteer military. When you join, what's the income? What do you make to be a soldier today? What is it? What is it's it? It's not much. If they're yeah. making fourteen thousand a year as a private or something like that, 
That's pretty on the Okay, it pays $65,000 a year to be a sheriff or a deputy sheriff right. in Cherokee County, Georgia. And I will say that I know Cherokee County has a lot of stuff going on. Great, great place to work. Great place to work. But it's not like going into a hot military zone. But you can make $65,000 being a deputy sheriff in Cherokee County, Georgia. And you're going to go in at $14,000 a year 14, to be military. If they're lucky. Yeah, Are yeah. you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah. but, you know, shame it, on us. Shame on us. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic that we have young people that will step up and say, yeah, I'll go do that. And there, yeah. are, and there are good benefits, you know. Yeah. They, you're yes. going oh, yeah. to get yeah. education. You're going to get your health care and that sort of thing. Uh, and if you stay in, you know, you can have a, a good career. And retire it. in your 40s, which is awesome. Yes. You, yeah. you can, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then get out and go, go do some other things, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, law enforcement, uh, you know, you mentioned the, the sheriffs there. Uh, ask a veteran sometime what they think about law enforcement because mm -hmm. a veteran that's walk the streets of chaos of war mm -hmm. will tell you that law enforcement agency that's out there is the only thing between you and chaos yes exactly. I, I, I like to thank them every time every i have a chance time, yeah, to say yeah. uh, thanks to our law enforcement officers yeah, absolutely absolutely and and we often forget we get at home in that stupid recliner with that popcorn and that diet coke and we're watching tv and we're just not really thinking about what's really going on i have a friend who was from south africa and if you could hear the stories of their family members who were beheaded and killed and in South Africa during conflict, mm -hmm. and um, it was especially at religious freedom because they would be having, her dad was a um, pastor who went over and established churches there. And they would have church and go home and the whole family be slaughtered. The whole family be slaughtered because they held church that day. Mm -hmm. So we have soldiers who are fighting today in Africa, in Syria, everywhere, for the freedoms that we just kind of take take it for granted. You know, it's mm -hmm. just, it is what it is. We just get this because we live here. No, somebody fought and died for it. Correct. Yeah, yeah correct. somebody fought and died. Sad. Okay, again, this event is March the 31st, 6 to 7.30 p.m. I challenge you, come and be there. Appalachian Tech, great facility. Uh, Chattahoochee. It's Appalachian in my brain because that's mm -hmm. the old school. I don't change. <laughs> it's Chattahoochee. <laughs> Chattahoochee <laughs> Technical Chattahoochee. College Auditorium there in Jasper. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, come on out. You can buy your tickets right there, and uh, we'll welcome you. So. And I'll give you a hint. It's right across the street from Deb's Bakery, and if you yep. get there early, you can go in and buy you some brownies to take home with you. Does that yep. make sense? Yeah, 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 it does. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you for your Thank service. You. Thank, Thank you. you for your service. You know, my favorite are the Marines because if you're a woman and you're going to marry a military guy and you want the wedding to be really hot to trot, that military, that dress blue, the Marines have got it going on. No, oh, they do. They do. They got the <laughs> they best do. dress uniform, no doubt. <laughs> they do. They do. They do. They do. What an honor to be able to to salute those who have served and those who have given all. And if you get an opportunity, y'all, please come out and be with us. It again will be on March the 31st, and uh, go to YouTube, and I bet you this dude has got yes. some stuff up on YouTube, doesn't he? Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited time. when I leave here. I'm going to check him out. So, yeah, Connor, yeah. ConnorLore.com to see his videos and then to buy the tickets, AmericanLegion149.com. There you go. There you go. And if you don't have the Internet, just show up that day because That's they right. will have plenty of seats, and I hope to see you there. Well, I'm going to leave you now. Tomorrow, my friend Ed Huber is going to be with me, and uh, he is a really, really, he's like me. He's a little bit opinionated. I tell people, they say, well, what's your program about? I said, well, I'm an old Christian broad, and I'm opinionated as I can be. Ed is an old Christian man, and he's opinionated too, so tomorrow's going to be a fun day. I look forward to it. I hope to see you again soon, only on ETC.